Yo, what is up guys? I'm DJ Rick Webb and uh, that's new. So guys, this is my trailer. My trailer, I've been mentioning that I ordered literally probably about a month ago now. So it's been like four and a half weeks. This was custom built for me. This is a six by 12 trailer. I'm gonna talk about the specs and all that later in this video, but there's basically two theories out there in terms of getting your gear from point A to point B once your your like personal vehicle is not enough. Like I've said, I can fit my whole entire basic wedding package in the truck, but school dances, anything bigger than that basic package, I need something else. So there's two theories. One is get yourself a van, or two, get yourself a trailer. <laughs> So one of the reasons why I actually went with the trailer route is because I actually am pretty into vehicles and cars and I, I wanted a truck. So I bought a truck and if you guys don't know I have a whole YouTube channel on my truck and the modifications and all that stuff I'm going to my truck. It's pretty awesome. You can go check it out. Taco Rick. But in saying that I also didn't want to put a cap on the back of the truck to add more room because I hate that. I don't want to look like grandpa driving down the road. Uh, no offense to you guys that have caps. So I didn't want to use a cap. So I bought a truck because I wanted a truck. That's my personal opinion and I can do whatever the hell I want because I'm me. I can make my own decisions. So I bought a big trailer to go with it. And one other reason is gas mileage. Now you would say a van has decent gas mileage too, but it was a comfort and gas mileage thing because I, I have about a 45 minute commute to work and a 45 minute back commute every day. Uh, I work Monday through Friday at a full-time job. If you guys didn't know, I have a full-time job. So I wanted something comfortable, something nice to actually drive to work in, aka the truck. Also aka why that truck has over 10,000 miles now and I bought it June 1st. Now let's actually talk about this ginormous trailer right here. It is 6x12. Why did I get a 6x12? Why didn't I just get a basic 5x8? Why did I get dual axle? We'll talk about the specs here in a second, but the main reason is because I wanted to buy a trailer that was meant for the future of the company, where the company is going to be at in the future. Yes, this is complete overkill and you will see that because we're going to be loading up this trailer to go do the homecomings that are in Ohio this weekend. So we're gonna be loading that up later in the video here. But I wanted something that was meant for the future. This is meant for the bigger setups that I plan to do in the future. I wanted to buy it once, cry once, and basically not have to upgrade for at least five years. So now let me actually break down the specs of the trailer for you guys and explain why I got those specs. So the first thing obviously is the color and actually the color was included in the original price. There was no extra to do this color. Obviously, this color matches the truck color to a degree. It's not an exact match, but it was a free color and the color is close enough. One thing I did do to actually upgrade though was I blacked out all the chrome. It wasn't that much money, it was only a couple hundred dollars, but in terms of matching the look of the truck, the truck has no chrome. I deleted all the chrome from the truck. I hate chrome. So, and I, this trailer is gonna last me easily probably 10, 15 years down the line. I wanted it to look cool and look good and also it, it, it looks pretty dope you, you can't deny it. it looks dope next thing is the actual size of the trailer so this is a 6x12 the main reason why I went with a 6x12 one the width is 6 feet because my truck has good clearance in the mirrors at 6 feet I could have went 7 feet but in terms of what I need 6 feet is plenty for me and 12 feet the length is 12 feet for basically two reasons one the trussing that I'm going to be using for school dances and the productions that I do in the future and coming up soon actually is comes in nine nine and a half foot sections is a three meter section so I need this thing to be at least ten foot long to accommodate that truss got a highway right there so I could have went with ten foot long and originally I was looking for a six by ten but the place that I bought the trailer trailer from doesn't have dual axle in the 10 foot option. So I had to go with 12 feet. And this is basically online on the Toyota forms. 
about the biggest trailer that you can haul um, using this truck. You can purchase probably a 7x14 is probably the biggest you want to go with this uh, in terms of actual feasibility, in terms of moving it, but 6x12 is what I got. Next thing, dual axles. Why did I get dual axles? Obvious reasons. If I have a flat and one of these tires go out, I don't want my trailer to completely dive bomb on one side. So it's dual axle, so that way if one tire goes out on one side, there's another tire, and there's a spare tire that you'll see on the inside for obvious reasons that I can change the tire. Uh, main reasons are most of my gigs, as you guys probably can assume as a DJ, um, I have a lot of gigs that are an hour, two hours away, so I cannot be stranded. So dual axle, a spare tire, you gotta have your backups in DJing and in what you basically take to get to your gig. If you're wondering, the truck also has a full size spare. You'll see this better when we actually go to load it up here in a second, but the actual back door on this is a ramp. It's not a dual open door, it's a ramp. Obvious reasons, equipment has wheels. You wanna be able to just wheel it up in the trailer at the end of the night and uh, unload it. It just makes things easier. So it's, it's a ramp door. Also, got a side door. All the doors have bar locks on them. Bar locks, obviously, they're the most secure thing you can get. I have puck locks for those on the way. Right now we're using some Mastercraft locks, just some casual locks. Two other casual uh, specs on the trailer. All of the lighting is already LED. There's lighting around the rim, there's lighting on the tires. Um, when it gets dark here, I'll actually have some nighttime shots so you can see the lighting on this. But this thing is bright, basically it sticks out at night. Um, the fact that it was a dark trailer, I wanted to make sure that it had some good lighting so that at night because I mean, you're a DJ, so 90% of the time when you're coming home from a gig, it's dark. So it needs to be visible at night. So it has good lighting all the way around to make sure it's visible going down the road. Then one other spec on the wheel situation. Um, it comes with radial tires instead of bias tires. It's better to have radial tires. It wasn't really a, a selling point for me because I work for a tire company. So I could have got radials and replaced the bias ones like it was nothing, but it comes with radial tires. So here's the inside of the 6x12 trailer. Uh, notable things on the specs are that all the seams of the wood are cocked. We're using marine grade uh, plywood all the way around. And it has a vent in the roof. And the roof is a one piece uh, roof. Those are the main selling points. There's the ramp door. I didn't pay to get any tie down points put in here, mostly because I wanted to put them in myself and put them where I find they're most useful. So that is coming at a later date. The plywood that you see on the floor here is three quarter inch thick, which is the upgraded version. Most trailers use half inch. This is three quarter inch. Again, higher grade, higher build quality, all that good stuff. Same thing goes for the walls. A lot of times the walls you'll find quarter inch plywood. This is half inch plywood all the way around. This trailer is beefed out for obvious reasons, longevity, durability, and the ability to basically throw whatever I want in here and know the trailer can handle it. So the last little bit of specs that I can tell you guys about is basically the all of this goody dust right down here. So it came with the jack already on it. It has the battery for the braking system. I believe it's by law that all trailers that are dual axle have to have brakes, but this has the electronic braking system. The electric brakes are already hooked up on this trailer so that it will break uh, as well as the truck when the truck is braking. The truck is already hooked up with the towing package, so this thing hooks up to the truck no problem with the cable, it just plugs right in. It's already got the towing package set up basically. And a cool feature that I haven't seen before on trailers, apparently it's by regulation now in 2018. There's this cable right here and that hooks to your truck and it's basically a breakaway cable so that if by some means the the ball comes off or the hitch comes off the ball, your trailer's sliding and your chains also break, uh, this will pull the, that cord and your trailer brakes will activate and they'll lock up basically and your trailer will pretty much come to a stop. So now, total weight of the trailer is 1,800 pounds. My truck is good for 6,500 pounds of towing, which means we got plenty of room for the amount of weight we're gonna be putting in terms of equipment into this, uh, basically with no issue on towing. So now I'm actually gonna hook up the trailer. I don't have it hooked up right now. And we're gonna take it over to my apartment, which is literally just like right across the way. You can't see it, but it's over there. And we're gonna go to the garage and we're gonna load up all of the gear into the trailer for the upcoming homecomings. 
quickly wanted to just point out this is not the hitch lock that I'm going to be using in the future. Yes, I know this thing is actually a piece of crap. Um, it's all I could buy at the time in the place where I live, so it's just here for temporary purposes. I'm buying a legit one here very soon. Also, if anyone was wondering, the manufacturer is Spartan on this trailer. Let's, uh, let's go load it up. Welcome to Gear Cave 101, or otherwise known as my garage. So we're gonna, we're gonna load up the trailer real quick. And uh, I'm just gonna do this time-lapse style. Uh, if you guys wanna see more details of this, the gig log will be coming out literally probably within a week of when this video is posted. So, let's get it loaded up. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Whew, told you it had lights everywhere. Anyways, guys, it is fully loaded up. The trailer is loaded, ready. This is actually enough stuff to do two homecomings. We will be picking up truss in Ohio uh, when we get there. You'll see that in the gig log, but this is all loaded up with basically everything that I had. Pretty, pretty much everything. Uh, but this is enough for two homecomings, so Yeah Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this trailer video showcase, I guess I'm extremely tired. I have an 8 8 thing. It's probably like 8 30 right now So I'm gonna go eat because I got work in the morning um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys when we head out to the homecoming peace